and welcome to another video. Uh, this one is kind of a follow-up to the previous video about push D and pop D. Uh, someone else asks, what does CD minus do? Um, and it's it's also similarly useful to push D and pop D, so I figured I would explain it as well. So with push D and pop D, you can maintain a stack of, you know, a whole bunch of different directories and kind of enter and leave contexts. Uh, CD minus is kind of like that. So let's make a directory. Let's actually make two directories, a slash b and a. Um, so when you cd into a directory, so say I change into the a directory, now I'm at temp explains a, um, I can use cd minus to go back to the previous thing that I was at. Um, and so you can see it takes me back to temp explains. Um, and it maintains just one level of, of go back ness So you can, you can kind of you know, bounce back and forth between two things. I find this to not be very useful in shell scripts. I guess you could use it in shell scripts. I find this more useful in uh, you know, actual command line execution. Um, but it has one downside related to push D and pop D in that it only maintains the previous thing. Um, if I recall correctly, uh, where is it? There's a... Um, there's like a pre, there's some environment variable that also stores the same value. I don't remember what it is, but there is, there is one for that. Um, but that's, if I recall correctly how it works, <laughs> it could also just be that bash keeps track of that for you. Uh, one other thing that I wanted to show you that's related to CD minus is you can actually do this with git commands as well. You can do this with git checkout. So if I clone a repository, uh, AST pretty, for example, and I get checkout origin master dash b foo. So I made some branch. I can actually use get checkout minus. And what get checkout minus will do is it'll take me to the previous branch that I had checked out. So you can see it takes me back to master. If we do it again, it'll take me back to foo. Um, so git keeps track of the previous branch that was checked out. And so you can you can switch back and forth with that. Um, so related, but <laughs> you know, not not exactly the same thing. But hopefully this was helpful. If you have additional things you want me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.